Hello, my name's Kevin Saris. I'm from Air Hairdressing in Malvern. Today, I'm going to take you through two long hair up techniques. The first technique I'm going to take you through is um, a very current style. It's on the catwalks of Milan, London, Paris, and New York. Especially this year, it's been, it's been the bun. It's, it's, it's a huge look. It's incredibly simple. It's based on a ponytail style with the sections sectioned off and then rolled back down onto the scalp. So I'm going to start to take you through that. First of all, we get our cushion brush. We need to get a lot of tension on the hair, first of all, to get it into the ponytail. So again, we have to use the cushion brush. Gathering all the hair together. I think the nice thing about this style is it's a very quick style to use in the salon as well because when you're doing hair up, people always think you have to go for the, the kind of classic pleats. But this is just, the ponytail is a really great idea because it just tends, especially when you've got hair like Jess's, which is incredibly fine, but a lot of it, and it, tends to, um, it tends to secure the hair. So for the client, they tend to feel like the hair's not going to come down. Then we've got our elastic covered band. Take it around the hair the once, pull up, twist, back around the hair, and take it, twist, back around the hair. Then we're going to split our ponytail in two, and then to get the tension, I'm just going to pull it back. Just again and pull it back. Then with a hairspray, it's going to sleep down the rest of the hair. Let's pull that around for you. Again, using the cushion brush. These are essential for long hair, these cushion brushes, because they tend to really smooth the hair over. You can't really use a comb for this. And again, spray. Such a simple style, this, because it's so effective. Again, you can start to see the sleekness. cushioned brush, again applying more spray. Just put the ponytail out of the way for a second while I'm doing these back sections. Again, you can see how that brush is keeping all the hair very, very sleek. One little tip when you're doing long hair or hair up. Jess's hair is perfect because it's, we haven't washed and dried it today. It's literally, if you can get your client to wash and dry it, even the, you know, the night before, it's much, much easier because it gives the hair a bit of structure as well so the hair isn't too, too fluffy and fly away. So um, that's something always to remember to tell your brides and they wash and dry the hair the night before. It's much easier to work with. You don't want to be washing and drying the hair in the salon and then try to put it up. It's far, far too difficult. So the next thing we've got to do, we've got to cover this band that we've used. So how we do that is we take... taking a section out of the ponytail. Again, we can... Um, Again, we can use our brush and to smooth out hairspray. Okay. And then we literally 
we get the section and we wrap it around our ponytail. Then get our Kirby grip. I was going to put that there. And you secure that straight through the centre of the ponytail. And get another one. And again, straight through the section of the ponytail. And just get one more. Just another little bit of spray. So what that tends to do is it tends to cover our band now so we can't see how the hair's been secured. Okay, so the first section we're going to take to create our bun. We set you in the well, in the in the opening. We need to um, so we've got our ponytail. And we're literally going to split this down into sections and take it back to the back to the head. Okay, so for this we use again we use our cushion brush. So again, I've smoothed over the hair. Then we need to get some hairspray then to lock that cuticle down and also give the hair some structure as well. Okay, so we're going to take our section, first section, I'm going to, cre we're going to create a barrel curl. Again, I've got my thumb securing, securing the hair to the, to the scalp, or to the head I should say. And then I'm going to get my grip. I'm going to take that round, I'm going to put one grip through the one side, like so. Then I'm going to take the other grip and I'm going to put it through the other side, like so. Okay. So you can see that's securely held onto, onto the head there. Okay, again a little bit of spray. Okay, next section I'm going to take. You really, at this point, you know, because we need to create really four barrels, you just want to kind of just have a look and see how much hair you've got so you can divide the hair equally or as equally as you can into each section. So I'm going to use this amount of hair for this side. Again, we've got our cushion brush and smooth over. Again, we've got our hairspray. And as before, I'm going to use our grip. So, we've got a little bit of excess hair, so we're going to just tuck that up inside the barrel. There's one. Let's take the other one. Okay. So there's our second curl. Okay, so we've done our three sections, so it's just our final section now. You can see really what a simple style and, and how really quick, quick it is to achieve as well. Because that's something that um, is always a consideration in the salon as well. You want to, you, you know, your client wants to be able to have a hair up, but you don't want to spend two hours doing it. Um, you know, this is where this, this is such a quick 
a quick idea. The clients sometimes worry about the hair starting to kind of fall out, but the fact that this hair is already secured by a ponytail and then it's pinned back to the scalp, it's not going anywhere. So there we have it, we've got our four sections to create our bun. Now, and from this point, this is, this, is the, this is where the clever bit comes, you need to start to pull the bun around. So this creates our round then. Pull some over from this side. Now we're going to start using some pins. On this point, we don't really want to use a grip at this point, so we just want to use some pins just to secure that in. Just pull it around. Again, another pin. Again, we can pull this side around. Okay, again, another pin, I'm just going to secure that on to the hair just to pull it around. Okay, and now it's going to start just to tidy up all the sections at the bottom. And can put some more hairspray over, just to tidy in any of the, the stray sections. I just love this style because it looks so complicated, but it's so incredibly simple. Um, most people use a bun ring actually for this, to put it through the ponytail, but I always kind of like to create it naturally. I think it um, gives you far more, far more of a natural approach and it looks, and I think it, all, it tends to look softer in the hair as well, because the bun rings tend to look very, very tight, it looks like they're just kind of, they're just placed on the hair, they don't look like it's kind of part of the hair, it almost looks like um, a hair accessory, where this looks much more natural. Okay, and then I'm just going to use some grips just to just to tighten up the hairline. If you just want to put your head forward a little bit for me, Jess, that's wonderful. So again, I'm just going to use some grips now, just to kind of take that hairline up a little bit, just again, because the hair's so beautifully thick, there's a lot of hair in the nape, so I'm just going to start to just tighten that up a little bit. Again, using the grips, just in at the base. And the lovely thing about this is there's not a pin or a grip in sight. So again, you can't see where the style begins and ends, which I think is another nice look. And like I was saying earlier, from a secure point of view, this style is not going anywhere. That's something that clients always worry about when they have their hair put up. Is it going to stay in? And especially clients who have a lot of hair. They might have had experiences in the past where they've attempted to have their hair up and it's just, it's just maybe fallen out because it's just a little bit too much hair. But this is a great, the ponytail is a great way of, you know, securing a lot of hair. And again, I've worked with Jess's natural parting, I decided not to take it all back. I've just let it, there's a little break in the side, which I think is nice too. Okay, there we have it, one bun. Nice and sleek, plenty of shine.